everyone that 1995 here in the video game fanfiction plot with a new story for you all it is called Transformers Prime, surprise. And I do hope you enjoy this video and remember I do, not own Transformers Prime series or this story I give full credit to its author Onyx Leader Rogue 177 and Deviantrit now on to the story, Chapter 3, To the Eyes. And you escaped unscathed? Optimus asked. Lauren nodded vigorously, yeah yeah yeah. Megatron must have lost track of him, I mean why didn't he even fly I away dummy? Starscream lost his TCOG to a ruthless organization known as Mech Silas is the only known leader the jerks who butchered Breakdown I don't like them for trying to take the ding why thingy. They're dummies too, Lauren muttered, ah, focus you stupid idiot. If the Autobots are here this is serious, they don't need a stupid shatter-brained human. She scolded herself. Optimus was silent a moment, when he finally said, are you feeling well? Miss Courage. Lauren laughed in a squeaky tone, he he he. He called me Miss Courage exclamation mark you need to focus, Lauren dot but it's so funny exclamation mark shut up, and listen to me whatever is happening it is vital that you listen to Optimus. This is important. Okay, I'll try. I will have my medic look you over before we speak, Optimus assured. Lauren beat her head, then laughed. Okie dokie loki hee hee exclamation mark stop it, he's going to think you're crazy. Optimus remained silent the rest of the drive, pulling into an old saddle factory which had been abandoned for a while. The Prime opened his passenger side door, allowing Lauren out. For a moment she felt a balance between personalities, and she breathed, before turning to Optimus who had already transformed. She was nearly startled by his size. But the fear left as quickly as it had come, Optimus Prime, there is something you may need to know. I I have a severe mental disorder. More than one actually. It's called multiple personality disorder. I'm afraid that what you just experienced was a common conflict between them. There is a balance, but it's very difficult to maintain. I don't remember a time without this problem. Optimus blinked, I was quite confused and. I am still quite baffled. With you permission may my medic. Rochette, quite old, prefers to operate the ground bridge instead of being in the field, however he remains a top-notch physician. Impressive service record, Lauren began to mumble on. Optimus blinked, you know about the others as well. Yep, Lauren confirmed, then looked over to a glint in her eye. Her entire head snapped over, and her eyes widened, oh scrap. Shiny. She looked up at Optimus, then back to the glint. Um. One second, please and thank you. Lauren ran over to the shiny sitting on the desk. It was a lovely silver necklace chain with nothing on it a bit tarnished but beautiful nonetheless. Hee <laughs> hee. It's shiny. Lauren shoved it in her pocket, then put her hands behind her back, and turned to Optimus, where is every bot? Rochette is returning now, Optimus said. Rochette pulled in, and Agent Fowler jumped out, I am just saying Rochette if this kid has a picture of Prime on her social page, then why would she know about anyone else he noticed Lauren, say. Lauren yelped, it's Agent Fowler. Meanie, you yell at Optimus a lot. Oh no. He's going to yell at me. She jumped behind the table. Oh Optimus is that? Rochette began. Optimus nodded, I would like you to run a series of scans on her. She says she has more than one mental disorder, and she can't control her. Events. Rasha tapped his fingers, Optimus, after what happened with Unicron I still didn't have enough time to study out human medicine, and certainly not human psychology. Unicron. Lauren popped back up, we were supposed to shut him back down with the Matrix of Leadership. What happened? I can't remember anything after that. Wait what I wasn't there. But it's so vivid. Like I can touch it, she continued. Rochette walked over to her, and picked her up. Oh my gosh. You're shiny too. Lauren laughed. Optimus, I hope you were wrong about this girl being our only hope. Rochette sighed. Lauren sat in his hand, stunned by Rochette's shininess, as her ran a scanner stopping each time for a longer pause when the beam fell over her head. By the Alls Park. 
Optimus, I need to build a deep cranial scanner as soon as possible. What is it? Optimus asked, looking over his shoulder. Something is wrong. Humans only have access to a percentage of their brain a small one at that, but this girl. I'm seeing activity all across the brain, and the most is happening in her temporal lobe. I need a more detailed scan to understand exactly what is happening, but it looks like there are two separate minds. It is possible that her mental issues are spawning from this, but Optimus, the lesser of the two minds is deteriorating rapidly. That's probably why she seems mad. Optimus thought a moment, Rashet, do you still have the shard of the Matrix of Leadership which fractured from the hole when we first arrived? Of course, what are you thinking? Rashet inquired. Optimus looked at the human girl a moment. Something was wrong, yes, but it was not what her doctors or whoever had diagnosed her believed it was. The illness seems very alien. Lauren shook her head, her eyes widened, and her irises narrowed greatest power in known universe. An essence of Primus himself. Contains the collective wisdom of the Primes as one, the last Prime to wield this power was Optimus Prime, the last of the Primes. Prime a leader to all Cybertronian life a follower of Primus. Primus, the essence of creation, created all Cybertronian life, but the 13 Primes came first Primus and the Primes defeated Unicron Unicron. Rashet poked his index finger over her mouth, odd. How could she just know all that, and you see her eyes? Optimus blinked, could those brain activity you were detecting could it possible be? Living knowledge infecting her brain, like with Bulkhead? Rashet looked up at him, that would have killed her already for a human mind to take that much in. Their organic brain would. Burn, no this is something else. Optimus stared at the girl. Harder, Agent Fowler, might you know what plagues her? Prime, I wouldn't know where to begin. Where were you going with the Matrix of Leadership thing? Asked Fowler. Optimus was hesitant, but eventually spoke, Rashet, give me the shard. Rashet blinked, all right, here, take her for a moment. The medic handed the small girl to Optimus. She finds joy in creation, which is why she's closest to Miss Coer. Lauren, focus on what makes you calm. Lauren paused, and looked at him, pupils returning to their previous dilation. Optimus accepted the shard from Rashet, balancing it on his finger, he then held it towards the girl, does this mean anything to you? Lauren then looked at it, and touched the shard, e everything. It means everything. Optimus looked about, all of reality vanished leaving only Optimus and Lauren on a large, grassy hill with a single tree as tall as Optimus. He would have thought it was Earth, but for one detail out of place. The sky was Cybertron's. Lauren stood, holding the Matrix of Leadership shard, Optimus. I think I know what has happened to me. I don't know how but you some part of you oh I don't know, but I know that that something of you, of the Matrix is in me. In my mind, in my heart. But the Matrix, it's like everything is so clear, it restores balance, please. May I hold on to it for now? Optimus stared at her, something was different about her. Something that reminded him of someone like him, but different. One thing was certain to Optimus. There was more to this girl, Laura Ashley Courage, than met the eyes. Well that's the ending of that chapter, I do hope you enjoy this video if you like to see more remember. To hit that like button subscribe to this channel and leave a comment down below until next time.